Microsoft Teams is designed from the ground up for collaboration. It's your place to go for chats, for video meetings, for phone calls, and more recently, even for your shared documents and other collaboration tools. But in this video, I'm going to focus not on using Teams to collaborate with others, but a technique you can use to boost your own personal productivity using the new Intelligent Recap feature. But before we dive into the specifics, let's take a minute to look at what Intelligent Recap is. Intelligent Recap is a feature of the new Teams Premium add-on license. It works alongside the existing Teams transcription feature to provide you with intelligent AI-assisted notes for any meeting. It breaks down who spoke when, the key aspects of what they said, any actions that arose, and even lets you dig into specific parts of the recording to see key events of the meeting. This may sound similar to the features of Microsoft 365 Copilot. There's a link to this video below if you're interested in that. But these technologies are designed to be complementary, and Microsoft hopes that many users will find use for both Teams Premium and Microsoft 365 Copilot licenses. After all, if you're going to pay for a $30 a month add-on, why not just pay $40 a month for add-ons instead? With Teams Premium, you gain more information from your meetings. With Copilot, you get more capacity to intelligently action that content. If you're finding this video useful, please do hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so the next time I release a video, you're among the first to know. Also, if content like this would be useful to people in your network, please consider sharing it there too. Thanks. So to get an intelligent recap for a meeting, you need transcription enabled in your tenant, or at least in the policies applied to your user. The meeting needs to be recorded. You need to be on the invite list for the meeting, not just someone who got the recording shared with them, and you need a Teams Premium license. Now, while intelligent recap is designed to handle the needs of simplifying complex Teams meetings, there is no lower limit of meeting size this tool can apply to. So I have found it's a really neat tool to be able to have a meeting with yourself and capture your thoughts. Here, you can see I have a daily recap meeting set up at the end of each workday in my calendar. This is set up as a Teams meeting that auto records, so I just need to jump into it and start speaking. And a few minutes after I'm done, Teams Intelligent Recap will work its magic. So let's jump into Teams and take a look at how to set this up and how to use it. So for our Teams client, we're just going to go ahead and create a new meeting. So I'm going to create one here. And the way that I've done this in my calendar is I don't want the meeting that I have set up every day to interfere with the ability others might have to understand my schedule or to put things on my calendar, particularly because I use Microsoft Bookings to automate that. So what I've done with my daily recap meeting is I've actually changed it from being shown as busy to being shown as free. So what that means is I can jump into that meeting at any time, but it doesn't block out my calendar. Now you might want to have a specific time each day that you're going to do this and you do want it blocked out, but I find the easiest way to do this for me is to have this time set as free. So I've just named this recap meeting and the other important setting that I want to turn on is record automatically. Now, as I said in the earlier part of the video, you do need transcription to be enabled in your tenant or at least in your team's policy. So if you don't have transcription enabled in meetings that you join, then you need to make sure that you ask an admin for that. Or if you're an admin, you need to go into Teams Admin Center and set that up yourself. And you also do need that Teams Premium license. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then I have my meeting here. You can see it's been shown as um, empty time on my calendar. And I'm just going to go ahead and join it. And so when joining my meeting, I could join this from my phone, I could join this from the web, I could join this from my, um, from my Teams client. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to join the meeting. It will say waiting for others to join, uh, but obviously no one else is gonna join this. But the important thing is you can see automatically this is being recorded and transcribed. If you don't set that up at the time that you set the meeting up or later on afterwards, each time you jump into this meeting, you're gonna actually go into these recording and transcribing settings and turn that on. So that's just gonna be something extra that you need to remember. 
So let's just take a look at this transcript. We should already see that this is recording what I'm saying. So say I'm using this at the end of the day and I need to remember, for example, that I need to send an email to Alex about the website and I need to make sure I get that done by the end of the week. And I also have an invoice that I need to send out um, to um, a client. So I'm just going to remind myself to take a look in QuickBooks and remind myself of which invoice I need to send out and then get that sent out by the end of the week as well. So I could just go through and I can make statements like that about actions that I need to remember or I can say more general things like I just had a great idea for a new product um, and I, that product is going to be a, uh, a training course for example and I want to run it in the fall and I want to start planning for that and all of these ideas are being captured you can see them being captured as I speak and this is obviously existing tech that we have had in teams we've been able to do this the more important part of this is the team's intelligent recap so let's end this meeting and then we're going to uh, just uh, wait a little while because it does take a few minutes for the team's intelligent recap to appear so we've given it a few minutes uh, just to get through through the AI processing of the uh, recap meeting. And I also went in and recorded just a second segment to show you how that works as well. So once you've done that, there are really two ways that you can go about getting into your intelligent recap. You can go into the meeting itself. Um, and if we go to the recap, you can see that we have a recap here. Or if I go to my chat, I have the chat for my recap meeting here, and you can see my two sections of speaking here, my two recordings. If I go into the recap for one of them, you can see that I've got the other recording down the bottom. And you can see it's gone through and it's highlighted the notes from the meeting, it's highlighted some tasks from what was uh, said, and there's a full transcript here that we can, we can use. So everything is there. Now, the reason that I went about and created one of these on every day in my calendar is I want to make it really easy to um, keep my thoughts where they need to be in terms of the timeline. So by creating that meeting every single day, I'm able to, to do that very easily and keep track. Or else if I just had one meeting I kept going back to, then I would end up with lots of different recordings on the various days. Now, you can go into your meeting more than once per day Day and you can record notes more than once per day and you'll have different recordings but in my opinion splitting this across uh, multiple days with multiple meetings certainly makes more sense to my use case than just having one meeting that I go back to all the time. The last thing I want to do I just want to jump into the calendar and um, show you that actually this creating a meeting ahead of time makes a lot of sense because you can just go ahead and create a meeting. So I can create a meeting here in exactly the same way. I can turn it on to record automatically, etc, etc. But what I miss in being able to do that every time I want to use Intelligent Recap for this purpose is that I have to go through that process and I can't just jump into it from example my phone, I would have to go in and create the meeting on my phone and then go into that meeting. And it just makes the process a lot less straightforward. And I find that if something isn't straightforward, if something requires extra steps, then I'm just less likely to do it consistently. And this is something that's been helpful to me, so I want to make it as easy as possible to do it consistently. And so I've found having my meetings set up ahead of time is the way that I've been able to do that. So obviously this isn't the only place you can dictate in Microsoft 365. If your challenge is just capturing your voice and turning into text. This is easy anywhere. But in my opinion, this approach with Teams Premium has two key advantages. 
The first is that it's really easy to be connected to Teams and using this feature hands-free or device-free. If you're in the car, a Teams meeting can work through your hands-free and you can do this on AirPods while walking the dog. It's quick and easy to connect to Teams and you can do it almost anywhere and on any device. You can definitely get transcription elsewhere, but the modality of doing it is far more restrictive. The second is the added AI capabilities from Teams Premium. Sometimes I just want to download the contents of my mind in a rambling fashion, and Teams AI capabilities can handle that pretty well most of the time. It certainly isn't perfect, but it provides a much better starting point than just the transcription on its own. However, if you don't have Teams Premium and you just have that rambling transcript, there are some ways that you can achieve similar results just with a little more work. So I'm just going to jump into my meeting transcript here and I'm going to copy the text of the transcript itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy this. And then here I am in ChatGPT and I've already created a prompt to say create a summary of this transcript and highlight any specific actions that are mentioned. And I'm going to go ahead and paste my transcript in. So now while they're pasted in, I'm just going to go ahead and run this and see what ChatGPT has to say. And you can see that ChatGPT can do this as you would expect. Um, but obviously this is just an extra step, so uh, for the, the 8 to $10 that you're going to spend per month on Teams Premium, even if this is the only feature that you use in Teams Premium, you really need to think about um, is this going to be worthwhile to you, and certainly if there are other features available in Teams Premium uh, that make it something you want to use, then this extra capability um, can make it certainly uh, very beneficial to you to use it in this way. Now it is important to remember that as soon as you share your transcript with ChatGPT or with Claude or with another AI tool, it is no longer under the data protections of your tenant like when you're using it with Intelligent Recap. You could argue that Bing Chat Enterprise is a good alternative, but it has much more restrictive character limits than ChatGPT, so only short transcripts would work. I think this is a really good way to get extra value out of Teams Premium. This workflow isn't going to work for everyone, but if you think being able to go from verbal thought downloads to insights and actions would boost your productivity, I suggest you try it. Teams Premium still has a free trial. There's a link to this video down below if you want to find out how to enable it. And at only $10 a month, I think it's easy to see how many people could get great value out of this feature alone. What do you think? Have you tried this approach or will you be trying it based on this overview? What other aspects of Teams Premium do you have creative uses for? Leave some comments down below. I hope this video has been useful to you. Until the next one, bye bye.